Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Crash and today I have something slightly different for you guys. It's Shonen Jump's manga reading challenge. Now, before I explain to you guys what that is, I just wanted to say that this is my first video off script. So if I sound a little bit more nervous, a little bit more uncertain, if I sound um, less assertive than normal, then that is most definitely why. So. Uh, what Shonen Jump's manga reading challenge is, is a challenge um, based on anime watching challenge and manga reading challenge that you can find on my anime list, they have those yearly challenges and anime list as well, they have uh, monthly challenges and team challenges and mine is definitely um, based more on analysts on analyst team challenges and so the theme of my of my challenge is of course uh, weekly shonen jump or just shonen jump in general and basically i give you 10 criteria uh and you have to read 10 manga that fit those criteria so um i'm just gonna scroll down and you can find this thread um i'm gonna leave a link on the description but you can find it if you go to this link right here you can find this thread it has a little bit of an introduction uh a nice section explaining uh, what is Weekly Shonen Jump, and of course the rules with which I'll be uh, getting onto soon. Uh, and basically this is the 10 criteria. So I have Volume 1, which have has 5 criteria based on tropes of Shonen Jump, of uh, or actually tropes of Shonen in general. And basically um, what you can do is you can follow any order uh, within these 5 um, challenges, within these 5 criteria, and once you finish this five, you have the volume one complete that gives you access to this little beautiful power uh, badge. Uh, and then you can move on to volume two. Volume two has five more challenges that you can fit in. And when you finish those, you get this Nogami Nero badge as well. Uh, now these badges are made by Otorino. You can find them here. Otorino is um, a data mod on uh, analyst and she does like these fantastic uh badges th th this is just two of that she made for me you can find uh more of her stuff here on this thread which i'll also leave a link on the description below and basically there's um the specific challenges for these badges that she's making as well so you can have that and uh, try to win these as well what we're going to do in this video, however, is we're going to pick the 10 manga that I'm going to read for my challenge. So the 10 manga that I'm going to read. Uh, and we're going to go f with um, each criteria one by one. And for each criteria, I'm going to try to find a manga that fits it, as well as giving you a recommendation of a manga that uh, I've read and I think fits the category. So if you want to join this challenge, which I invite everyone, you can again go to this link if you have an analyst account or if you create an analyst account you can just um, copy this code that I have here uh, or make your own and you can do as these people have done and um, create your own post and keep tabs on on your own challenge and if you do uh, on this thread I'll be looking at what you guys are posting as well what manga are you guys reading as well um, but you don't need to make an analyst account, you can just copy these challenges and do by yourself. It, it's up to you, really. But uh, if you do if you do want to participate, um, I will be giving you recommendations to my favorite manga, uh, or, or not necessarily my favorite manga, but manga that I think fits those criteria that I think people should read. Now, uh, as the name may suggest, most of these manga need to be from a Shonen Jump manga, uh, for a Shonen Jump magazine. Not necessarily Weekly Shonen Jump, there are some uh, criteria that re that specify that it is by Weekly Shonen Jump, some of them specify other magazines, um, and there is one, uh, Chapter 4, which uh, asks you to do either a Sunday or a Shonen Magazine manga, because those were the rivals of Shonen Jump, so I thought it would be nice to have uh, that one there. So anyways, here's the uh, resources that I'm going to use, or, or basically the tabs that I'm going to use. I have one tab, of course, for a challenge, I have another tab where I'm going to be editing the uh, manga that I will be reading, or that I will be reading. And then I have this list, which, which is a list of manga that I plan on reading from Shonen Jump, from Weekly Shonen Jump that I haven't yet. So, um, yeah. And I have this fantastic 
um, page that you can find on my name list uh, if you go to um, this link right here, myanimalist.net slash manga slash magazine, it gives you a list of pretty much every magazine that is on the uh, My Anime List database. And you can click pretty much on any one, I'm gonna try to not open an Intai one. Um, and it tells you what manga that they have on the database that was published um, there, and you can actually sort it by whatever the, the hell you want. For chapter one, we have an easy beginning, it's the beginning of your adventure, and I have an easy challenge, which is supposed to let you guys basically pick any manga that you want, uh, and so the challenge is to be a manga that is published on Weekly Shonen Jump, on Jump SQ, or on Shonen Jump Plus. This gives you a lot of options, and so I kind of want to start this one with uh, a big manga. One of, of those big titles from Shonen Jump, uh, maybe a battle manga from Shonen Jump that is important, that is a classic, but I haven't read it yet for some reason or another. Um, so what I'm thinking right now uh, is either Okuru no Ken, which I haven't read it, and uh, actually is s s smaller than I thought. That would be like 500 chapters, 245 only. Um, Dragon Ball, uh, I haven't finished, I read 108 chapters, but actually I watched the anime, I really love the anime, so I kind of want to buy the manga for this one and read it that way. Um, and the other option was Yu Yu Yakusho, um, because, you know, Hunter x Hunter is a big title, and Yu Yu Yakusho, you know, is, is, is as well. But, um... Actually, I think I'm, go I'm gonna go with my first guts, um, my gut instinct, which is Okuru no Ken. So, um, I'm gonna need the link here for the challenge. Um, just you substitute that ID here, and you just write uh, this here the title, it's an star Okuru no Ken, as you wish. And uh, my recommendation for this one, uh, I kind of also want to f be on that uh, train of thought, which is a, a classic from Shonen Jump, but one that maybe not all of all of you have read, uh, and that is Shaman King. And Shaman King is getting relevant again; it's going to have an anime adaptation soon, so I think it's the best time uh, right now is to read to read it. Um, and, and it is like one of those classics that I really loved as a kid. I watched the anime as a kid. Uh, and when I got into manga, <coughs> and was one of my first manga that I read it, it was really fantastic, it's a really good battle manga, and if you haven't read it, please do so. So chapter 2, we have the backstory flashback, and the idea is to read an old manga. So now I actually could have done um, Okurunken for this one, because it is an old manga, so the, I kind of wanted to do a prior to 2000 manga. Uh, but, you know what, I kind of want to stay in this train of thought, I kind of want to have uh, an 80s manga for this one. Um, Rokunayashi Blues would be a good one, but it's not completely translated, so... Hmm... I wonder... Doctor Slump, actually, Doctor Slump is a good... It's a good one, right? Uh, it's a comedy manga, for those who don't know, it's Dragon Balls or um, Toriyama, I mean, um, manga before he wrote Dragon Ball. Uh, and it is it is another classic from the, from uh, Shonen Jump, so it's from 80, 1980 to 1984. I don't have many manga from the 80s that I like that much, but actually this one... I really love gag manga, so I think I'm gonna like Dr. Slump. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Personal recommendation for an old manga. That, that one is harder because I, I don't like... Um, I haven't liked much of the manga that I read from that time. Saint Seiya, I, I didn't like. Jojo's, the first couple of Jojo's, I don't like. Um, I could recommend Jojo's Part 4, which I do like, and I'm pretty sure it's from before the 2000s, but... Um, I don't I'm not gonna recommend you just the middle. Uh, you know, just part four of manga. Um, so I'm, I'm actually going to go to the 90s, uh, and I'm going to recommend Slam Dunk, uh, which 
you know, all of you probably have heard about it, probably have read it as well, but it's a classic of sports manga, and it's one that if you, if you haven't read, you should. It's fantastic, especially the that last game. It's just a 10 out of 10. Um, and now the opposite, so the Onwards to the Future, it's a manga from 2000 and, uh, or onwards. Um, so that, that also gives me a lot of a lot of options because a lot of the manga that I want to read from Jump um, is from it's post 2000. Of course, this when I got into anime, it's when I got to manga. So, um, get, you know, Scat Dance. I read Astro. I really liked it, uh, and just I'm recording this just after reading Witch Watch. Which is by the same guy, uh, which is uh, Kenta's new manga in Jump. Um, and I, I, I like it as well, so... Uh, yeah, sure, let's, let's do Cat Dance. Now, meet your rivals. So this is the one where uh, it's a manga by either Weekly Shonen Sunday or Weekly Shonen Magazine. And, of course, those, ma those magazines are even older than Shonen Jump. They're like 60 uh, or 70 years old by now. Um, I know what year they, they were released in 1959, I just don't know how to do math, so... Um, the one I recommend, that, let's just, just get that out of the way, the one I recommend is Ashida no Joe, um, another sports manga, yes, and another oldie as well, but in terms of old manga, in terms of old shonen, Ashida no Joe is definitely the best that I've read, like, be from 1999. Or from 1990 and before, Ishida and Joe really takes the cake so far. So that's uh, what I'm gonna recommend. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stay the same mindset. I wanna read more old manga. So I kinda wanna find some old Shonen Sunday or some old Shonen magazine to read. Uh, and, and I'm gonna go, <clears throat> for this one, I really need to check the, the magazine. So, um, yeah. There. Shonen... Shonen Magazine Weekly and Shonen Sunday, here they are. Um, so of course of course the the more recent ones are the ones that are gonna be on top. They're GTO uh, that I started, never finished. Uh, and I kinda wanna continue. Uh, I didn't finish back then because the scans were really, really bad. Um, but I've heard that they, there's new, better scans as well. Air Gear is also a cool one, but... Um, Rave... There, there's a lot of, uh, of like good ones uh, on magazine. But I wanted an oldie. I don't think I'm gonna pick an oldie after all. Um, baby Steps. Also looks interesting. 47 volumes though. That's that's a lot. Uh, Diamond and Oasis, 47 volumes as well. This I, this may be it. Um, I, for those that don't know, uh, this is um, the prequel for Grand Theft uh, Grand Theft Auto and GTO, and uh, it was actually released first from 1990 to 1996. I think GTO is only released. Um, from 1996 to 2002, so uh, this is actually the prequel, and it was released first. But most people just read GTO because it is the most well known. I think it was uh, the first to be published on the West, and of course, this is also called GTO: The Early Years, apparently. So uh, on the English version, so um, let's just check Sunday titles first, okay? Um, Inuyasha. Actually, a Rumiko manga would be cool. Um, there is a Rumiko manga I've been wanting to read for a while. Um, which is said to be the... Um, it is. It's, it's said to be like the, the inspiration for Lovino, which is one of my favorite manga. It's this one, my own Ikoku, so let's find the manga on that one. This is the anime. Anime, anime, manga. Yeah, here we go. Um, my son Ikoku, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, it's from 1980 as well, so 
I'm definitely stacking up on the oldies, but th that's that's what I want. I, wa I want to find old manga that appeal to me, that I that I find, um, you know, interesting. That there's a high chance of me liking it. So. Um, and either match. That's the sports manga. I recommended um, Slam Dunk before. You can also use for this one. You can also use IQ. You can also use Rookies, which is the manga that I just finished reading, and I'm gonna do a video on about soon. But my recommendation uh, is I Show 21 by the same writer as um, Doctor Stone. And if you watched my first video on this channel, where I rank, uh, where I rate Doctor Stone. Um, actually talk about Ice Shield and mention that it's one of my favorite sports manga, so definitely one that I recommend checking out. It's also drawn by Murata, uh, which is the artist for One Punch Man, so it, it just an all-star team as well there. As for what manga I'm going to be reading... Um, I think Kuroko no Basket is the more obvious one. Cross, um, what was its name? I don't even have it here. Uh, I think. There's another one by, like, a tennis manga. It's Cross something. Uh, which is cancelled manga, but I've been, I've been planning to read it as well, but... Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm just gonna go with Kuroko no Basket. It's one of the biggest ones that, I, that I'm missing in terms of... Shonen Jump's battle, um, sorry, sports manga. I've read Slam Dunk, I've read Eye Shield, I've read um, IQ as well. So, this is definitely one that is missing. So, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll go with that one. It's it's not one that I want to read that much. Um, I don't know, it doesn't look as appealing to me as other manga. Uh, on the sports genre, but again, it is a classic, and since I still haven't read it, I uh, might as well do it. And um, <clears throat> that's volume one done. Uh, I'm gonna be reading these, and when I finish reading these, which it's gonna take a while because some of these are massive, but w when I finish these, I'll be releasing a video where I talk about what I thought about all of those. And uh, we're going to move on to volume two. And the first challenge of Volume 2 is a rom-com challenge. Uh, in this case, you can have either romance or school tag. You can find the tags of each manga um, on Analyst at least here. Again, this was made with Analyst in mind. So, oh, oh also for that, I could have, I could have done uh, Captain Tsubasa for the sports. Or, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> um, which I should have done. Uh, is this one because I promised someone I was uh, I would be reading um, Prince of Tennis, uh, so I still need to do that, and I might as well do two in one and put tennis um, Prince of Tennis here. So so yeah, sorry <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so. Uh, I uh, kind of picked the manga <laughs> for for this one. It's Little M Kiss. Um, I picked it off screen, or wasn't really off screen. Was on screen. I just kind of for noticed I uh, forgot something, so I had to redo parts. But but yeah, I, I picked Little M Kiss. The other one that I was actually big, uh, wondering would be Dene Shoujo or Video Ai Girl. Um, which is by a mangaka I know and I like, but Little and Kiss is also by a mangaka I know and like. It's by the author of uh, Ichigo Run Percent and Atsukai Limited, and a mangaka that I'll be talking about in this channel um, for I, I think more than one video uh, in the future. Um, this one is her debut in Shonen Jump, as far as I know, and it, it is a cancelled manga. It only has two volumes and 54 chapters, but I think after all of this, I'll be needing a little bit of a break, so, um, yeah. And The Underdog, which is jump manga, in, uh, jump manga that hasn't been adapted into anime. Hmm. 
And th that's a little bit hard because most of the manga th that are successful at least are adapted into anime. So this requires you to either go with a, a with an ex-manga or to look um, outside of the box here. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to try to look if there is any from Jump Plus that I want to read. Because Jump, I think Jump Plus has a couple of manga that are not adapted into anime. Fire Punch, for example, is not adapted into anime, though I've read that one. Uh, and I'll recommend that one while we're at it. We'll add it. And I forgot to recommend one for the romance uh, category. And I'll, re I'll be recommending Nisekoi, uh, which is a classic manga. Um, but it is one that I really like. It has some problems with the pacing. I know the pacing is very, very bad, but. I think it's still worth reading it, and it is one that was really fun. It was really fun for me to, to follow. Um, if you read Nisikoi, might as well just get into the Kawashita train with me and uh, read, read either Atsukoi Limited, which I'll be talking about very soon, or Ichigo 100%, which is her most well known manga, and it's a little bit bigger, and it's one of the classic uh, rom coms, I think, from, from Jump, so definitely check that one out. So, underdog, underdog. Spy X Family looks interesting, but, um, no. No, because it is ongoing, by the way. Jiko, uh, Jigo Kuraku is having a, an anime adaptation soon. And if I'm reading all the others first, by the time I reach <laughs> this one, the anime should be already out. Um, Summertime Render just finished, and On a Flag also is one that I've been told is really good. Hmm. Definitely a tie between these two. Um, I don't know anything about this one, but I've heard it is very interesting. And I don't know if like, I've heard a lot of good things as well. A lot of people tell me that... Um, actually, I think it is a bit of a spoiler, so I'm not going to delve into it, but, but it, I've heard a lot of good things about the later parts of the manga. Huh. Well, I, I might I might do on a flag for another challenge. For now, I'm going to go with Summertime Render for this one. And again, uh, my recommendation for uh, a challenge for this one, uh, for this challenge, is Fire Punch, which is by the same order as Chainsaw Man, which is gaining, tra gaining traction. It's having an, an anime adaptation as well, and is both of his manga are fantastic. So if you like Chainsaw Man, definitely check out Fire Punch. Uh, you won't regret it, I think. Time Skip is a manga from Young Jump. So uh, for those that don't know, I think I mentioned that uh, in my video about manga magazines or in my video about um, demographics, but young manga that has young titles, so young comic, young canon, young champ, young animal, whatever. Th these manga are all um, manga from uh, like seinen manga, uh, and Young Jump is the seinen magazine of of Jump Line. It has a lot of big titles, so the one I recommend is this one right here, the Scans, um, which is a fantastic manga, a really insane manga, but a really f a really good one. Um, a little bit of horror, gory, violent, but very, very fun. And I think I might go with the most popular <laughs> Young Jump manga, uh, Tokyo Ghoul, because I haven't read Tokyo Ghoul yet, and Zetman also looks interesting. But there's a lot of, of ones that look interesting. Alive looks interesting. I think it's by an author I know. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's by Sky High Otter. Um, this one is also nice by him. Blue Heaven's not as good, but. Hmm. Mm, I'm, I'm, going, I'm gonna go with Tokyo Go.
So uh, again, I don't think I need to introduce Sokugo. I actually don't know. I know very little about it. Uh, I just know that it's really famous. A lot of people talk about it. it it's. Um, I think it's kind of like a battle manga. Oh, I was going to say battle shonen, but I guess it's not a shonen. So um, that is very gory. That is very very violent. Um, and one of the biggest uh, its titles from last uh, decades. So it's it's a big gap on on my part, and definitely one that I need to fix. So might as well. And we're almost the end of final battle. And okay, so this is um, the battle manga. Uh, I've read a lot of battle manga from Jump. I, again, I didn't want to put Dragon Ball here. Kinikyu man looks at me, man. But Ronin Kenshin as well. Actually, I, since I was pondering this one for the first challenge. Um, I'm gonna go with Yu Yu Akshou. Um, you know, same writer as Hunter X Hunter. I never read on the Hunter X Hunter as well. I've watched the anime, the the first anime that was on TV. I watched the first arc, the exam arc, and it was really good. I really liked it, but I never really got into it. Um, So I, when I moved into manga, I plan always planned on reading the manga, but I never got into it. So uh, then I started reading about all the hiatuses that he was having, and it definitely, definitely made me not want to check it out. So that, that's why I haven't read it yet. Once it is regular, which is not going to happen, so once it does end, I might uh, check it out. But I do want to see what the other is capable of, so so do the actual show is a good one. As for a recommendation, um, mm, Nero is one that I, I want to recommend. Chainsaw Man as well, you probably read Chainsaw Man because it, it's, it's a recent one, it's really well known, people are talking about it, especially now, but oh, read it if you happen to read it and if you have um, Nero. Nero is a, a bit more of a, a detective manga at first, but it does turn into Battle Shaman later on. Um, and another one that I'll be talking about very soon. I'm, I'm gonna make a video. I, I probably mentioned every, almost every manga that I'm gonna mention in that video, but I'm gonna make a video about uh, five Shonen Jump manga that I think I need a bit more of attention, and Nero is gonna be the central piece of that manga, of that video. So. Um, let's move on to the final challenge, which is a little bit of a joke on Boruto buying a beating challenge, next generations, and the idea is to talk about a manga, or to read a manga, with a young or teen main character, published in Jump Magazine, so that is pretty much uh, any manga, any um, Jump manga. So yeah, a manga with um, a young main character. So that is gonna be most manga from the 90s uh, and above. So I have a lot of choices, really. Curiously enough, Toriko is not one of them. Zombie Powder, I'm gonna be reading Zombie Powder this week, so I'm not gonna be putting that one here. I don't even know, but by, by the cover of it, it doesn't look like the, it's a young main character anyways. Um, uh, I could go with video, video game A. Black Cat, I think it is no, uh, by an adult character as well. Let's check out Shonen Jump's like uh, biggest hits. To see if there is some that I'm missing from my plan that looks interesting. So I haven't read that note, but I have watched the anime and um, I plan on reading the manga eventually. I plan on buying the manga though. I, I, it's definitely one that I'm gonna buy, so I'm waiting for that. Um, Shugeki no Soma 
Food Wars is an interesting one. Jojo Part 6, I've read all the other Jojos um, up to Part 5, but I need to read Part 6. Um, I'm not sure if Jolene is a young character. She sits in a jail cell, but Jotaro, uh, which apparently is, is her father, um, was also started in the jail cell and he was pretty young supposedly so um, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna leave that one I want I want one which is obviously a young character hmm I might end up with Tula Rue. Yugi Yu-Gi-Oh Yu-Gi-Oh is a good one. Actually, I like gag manga. I think I'm gonna like this one. Uh, Saiki Kusuno Psy? Yeah, Psy Nan? I think that's it. Um, I've seen it on Netflix. Not, not I've, what I mean is that I've seen the ads. I've, see, I've seen that it is on Netflix. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this one. Um, he's an high schooler, so he's a teen. Hmm. Yeah, that, that, I, I think didn't. Yeah, I actually have it here. Um, yeah, I think this will be the final piece of my challenge. So a recommendation for this one. Um. You know what, Belzebub. <laughs> Since we're, we're doing comedy, uh, I really like Belzebub. Some of my favorite jump manga. Um, I think most people probably know about it. I don't think many people have seen it. It's, but um, I recommend checking checking the manga out. It's it's again it's one of my favorites. It, it is a manga that really helped me out through sometimes just by making me laugh. And I always. I will always love Tamura for that. Um, Angry Joker, oh, sorry, Angry Marie. Um, it's also really fun. And uh, Dolphin, again, uh, another manga that I really like on the magazine that is not doing well, and I'm very sad because Tamura really deserves um, another read title. But yeah, that, that, that's my recommendation, and this is. How uh, my personal challenge looks like. So we have Okurno Ken, Dr. Slump, Skat Dance, My Son Ikoku, Tennis no Oji Sama, Little Moon Kiss, Summertime Render, Tokyo Ghoul, Yu Yu Yakusho, and Saiki Kusuo no Psaisan. Psaina, I think that's how I pronounced. Uh, disaster Life of Saiki K. Um, and it's a lot of big titles. Like, a, a lot of these manga are really well known i think the only one that isn't that well known is little and kiss but it is a manga that i wanted to check out anyway so um yeah I, I think again this is a challenge that i think could make you look back on the backlog a bit and that's what i wanted to do i wanted to look back on the backlog see the manga that was missing that um i needed to read and force myself in some way to read them so um, I hope you do the same, I hope you get into this challenge, I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it, and if you enjoyed this video, uh, let me know, because if you did, if you'd like this kind of videos, I might do the same for other challenges, the manga reading challenges on Analyst, I have tons of challenges that I still need to finish, that I still need to do, so I could be doing that kind of video more often, and I'll be reading all of these, so when I finish the first five, I'll be talking about what I think about them, when I finish the second five, I'll also be talking about uh, all of them, so yeah, that'll be it, and so if you, if you watched till here, thank you very much, and I'll see you next video.